All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today it was just announced, or the past couple of days, and it was announced not not one but two more additional Walmart locations uh, will be shutting down by Friday, May twentieth, two thousand and twenty-two. So the first Walmart that we're going to be taking a look at that will be shutting down is the Walmart store in. Guilford, Connecticut. This is a pretty uh, older looking Walmart store. Uh, and just by looking at the front facing facade of this particular Walmart store, uh, I could see exactly why Walmart is looking to uh, completely cut off this store uh, and unfortunately do close it and uh, displace people out of work. Um, and maybe there'll be some transfer packages that will be offered to these uh, co workers working currently at this uh, Walmart location. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look uh, at the article. Uh, so here we go, Guilford Walmart closing by May 20th, corporate office confirmed. Uh, the, uh, what's it called, the near 100 employees of the, of the underperforming store at Boston Road Store will be eligible to transfer to other stores per Walmart official. The Guilford, the Guilford Connecticut Walmart is closing its Guilford store by May 20th, the company said Tuesday. Before the announcement, State Representative Shane uh, Senkelin shared the news on Facebook. While this is certainly disappointing news, I'm happy to share that the employees will be offered a transfer to another store, he wrote. This morning, I noticed that Guilford Walmart will be closing by Friday, May 20th. While this is certainly disappointing news, I'm happy to share that all the employees will be offered a transfer to another store. San uh, Scanlon told, told the patch he was... Uh, he was told about the closure by a representative from Walmart's regional government relations. I am disappointed to see the store close. I'm relieved that the that they're offering their 90 employees transfers to other stores, but that may be understandably difficult for many of the local seniors who work there and will not want to drive to an, other stores. Sankalan said, "I plan to stay in contact with Walmart to see what kind of progress they make on placing employees, and I am committed to helping employees however I can during the process." An email from Walmart Corporate Affairs confirmed the May 20th, 900,000 Boston Post Road store closure. A senior corporate officer at Walmart said the difficult decision to close the store came after a thoughtful review process. They noted that while not made lightly, the move was based on several factors, including historic and current financial performance, and is in line with the threshold that guides our strategy to, to close underperforming stores. In the Facebook post, uh, Guilford First Selectman Matt Howey said the location has, was being shuttered mainly due to underperformance. Um, the town posted on Facebook, in the coming weeks, the store will begin clearance sales to sell as much remaining merchandise as possible. In a phone interview with the patch, Howey said that the town's economic development office got in touch with Brooks Properties, which manages the Shoreline Plaza, to ask how the town can assist in making the site an attractive venue for someone. Though it is unlikely another big box type store will resettle the site, Howey said the goal is to find a business that is the right fit. In an email to the patch, Walmart Corporate said that the decision to shut a location was in no way a reflection of their hard work and customer service. We are we are hopeful that the associates at the store will want to continue their career with Walmart by transferring to another store. A spokesperson said that the Guilford Walmart workers will be, are will be eligible for a transfer. We are grateful uh, to, to the customers who have, who have given us the privilege of serving them at their Guilford location, said the Director of Corporate Affairs, Global Communications, uh, Felicia Mc McCrane. We look forward to serving them at our other stores in the surrounding communities and on Walmart.com. The closest Walmart to Guilford in, is now in Brantford, and another nearby store is in New Haven on the Fo Fox and Boulevard, the Supercenter, and another in Old Saybrook. Hoey noted that the Guilford folks who shop at the location will now go to Brantford, North Haven, or Old Saybrook stores. Whether you agree with the Walmart model or not, it serves a significant portion of our population based on pricing and affordability of their merchandise, he said. Okay, and the other Walmart store that will be shutting down is located in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Uh, so let's take a look at that Walmart store as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and uh, cross out that real quick. Uh, Walmart, Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Um, this Walmart store is a freestanding Walmart store uh, located right off of Interstate 395, or I'm sorry, Interstate 271. Uh, this is another Walmart store that will unfortunately be shutting down, and people obviously will be losing their job at this Walmart location, along with the one 
uh, in Guilford, Connecticut. Uh, this is a pretty basic looking Walmart too. It's an early 2000s model. You have this over here, uh, the outdoor home pharmacy and living. So we'll go ahead and uh, maneuver over to this portion. Um, I'm not sure if this was an, enter an entrance at one point, but it looks like it has since been blocked off. Um, and I believe if they, if I'm correct, yeah, so this is the basically the back end of the store back here. Um, nothing to, you know, nothing to bust your nuts over. It's a pretty basic uh, round of the Walmart. Just little to no loading area, though, so I could see. I do kind of see why that they're looking to close uh, this locate. Oh, no. Okay, they do have a loading area. It's very hidden, though, but it's a loading area. Um, so this is the, basically just the round, going around the Walmart store. Uh, the loading dock is over there. That's the, the store's dumpster. Um, just not, but nothing really like out of this world that makes this Walmart significant. Um, it is a store, like basically just a store within a parking lot. So, and then there's another, and there's one entrance here, um, as you would typically see in these early 2000s Walmarts, and then there's another entrance on that end of the store. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get in front of the store, and we'll talk about now the article uh, going over this store that will be unfortunately shutting down. Walmart store closing in Mayfield Heights. Here's why. Here's what the company is saying. The decision was not made lightly and was reached only after a thorough review process. The Walmart store in Mayfield Heights will close its doors next month. The company official confirmed with three news on Tuesday morning. The store, which is located at 6590 Field Mayfield Road, will close to the public by Friday, May 20th. The decision was not made lightly. So basically, this is the same statement that they said uh, about the Walmart store in Guilford, Connecticut. Um, I said we were hopeful about transfer. Walmart said their company offers 21 stores in and around the greater Cleveland area, adding that 15 of those locations are within a 30-minute drive. Uh, we are grateful to our, our uh, we are grateful to our, the customers who have given us the privilege to serve them at our Mayfield Heights location. McCain said, uh, McCrane said we look forward to serving their stores in the surrounding uh, communities and on Walmart.com. So yeah, this is very sad, unfortunate. People will be losing their job, um, and some of them, or most of them, or all of them, most likely, will be offered um, a package to transfer to another nearby Walmart store. So, anyways, guys, uh, that's about going to do it for this video. Uh, what do you guys think of these two Walmart locations closing? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. So, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.